Good morning. It's morning here where I am and it's cold. Brrr, it's cold. I am so cold. Autumn is here in Cape Town, South Africa. How is it where you are? Are you cold? Or are you hot, hot, hot? Or are you mm, in between so, so warm, mild, cool? How is it there? What's the weather like? All right. I continue the story of Jesus' birth. The birth of Jesus. When Jesus was born, the angels were happy. Mary and Joseph definitely were happy to have a healthy baby boy. The shepherds were happy. They had seen Jesus. Wow. After 40 days, it was time for Jesus to be taken to the temple with a sacrifice. God had told Moses that when a baby boy is 40 days old, his mommy and daddy must take him to the temple and bring sacrifices. Now the sacrifice could have been a lamb, but it was too expensive. Mary and Joseph didn't have a lot of money. So God had said, if you're too poor to buy a sheep or a lamb, it's okay. Just bring two birds, just bring two pigeons, doves that you can just find and hunt and catch. Yes, God tried to make life easy and the sacrifices easy even for poor people. So Mary and Joseph came when, when Jesus was 40 days old, still a little baby, they came to the temple. There was someone else in the temple. There was an old man called Simeon. He had been waiting and waiting for Jesus to come. He had been hoping and hoping that Jesus would come. And the Holy Spirit... The Holy Spirit had said to him, Simeon, Simeon, you won't die until you see Jesus. You have waited and waited for him. You won't die until you see him. You will see Jesus. And on the day when Mary and Joseph went to the temple, the Holy Spirit said, Simeon, it's time to go. Go to the temple. Simeon obeyed God. He loved God and he went to the temple. And when he saw the baby, he knew it's Jesus. My Lord has arrived. My Lord has come and he was so happy. God, I can now die. I've seen my Lord. I can now die. It's okay. I don't have to live anymore. I've seen Jesus. I am so happy. He is going to be a light for all the Gentiles. That meant he was going to show the path to the people who didn't know him. Remember, Jesus was a Jew. And God had told the Jews that they would be his special people. And that they would know the truth. And now Christ had come. Jesus had come so that even the other people who weren't Jews could also know about him. Everybody would know about Jesus and love him. Simeon was happy. Mary and Joseph were so surprised. They didn't really understand everything the angel had told them. And now this old man was so happy about their little baby. Wow. And then Simeon said to Mary, Oh, Mary, Jesus is going to show people how they really are. The good people, we will know them. And the bad people, we will also be able to know who the bad people are. You know how? I can tell you how. The good people would love Jesus and follow him. And the bad ones would say, mm -mm, we don't love him. That's what Simeon was telling Mary. 
and Mary. Bad things are going to happen to this little boy and you also. Your heart is going to be broken. It's going to be sad. Something sad is going to happen. But oh children, before the bad thing could happen, Jesus would grow and grow and grow and there would be many years where he would be a happy little boy just like you Yazi, Andy, Mickey are you happy little boys? Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace good will toward men Luke 2 verse 14 Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Luke 2 verse 14. Tomorrow, I will ask you to sing it with me, just one time. <laughs>